Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace here once again, and this time I wanted to talk about Ucraft once again. Now, I didn't think it would be this soon since we found out the developer of who's making this game. Now, I'm going to be brutally honest, uh, I'd never heard of them. Um, and as you can see, this picture here, this is just showing off another picture from what they have built so far. Uh, it still looks very plain, but, you know, over the next three months or so, uh, I think they could actually vastly improve it. But anyway, let's get back on topic. The Ucraft developer has been revealed to be an indie developer or an indie studio called Nexus Games. Now, they've made a game called Brick Blast, uh, as well as a game called Dance of the Damned, which is not out yet or whatever, which... There's a trailer on YouTube for the beta of it. The idea of the game looks kind of neat, uh, but it's like in beta, so it's not very polished or anything. And the animation looks... It, it's horrible, but at the same time, it's just early in beta, so it's nothing to be bragging about yet. Um, but anyway, so we know Nexus Games is the developer, or at least the main developer behind it, because they did say before in their mysterious message that other developers could add their stuff to the game if they wanted to, whenever they wanted to. Um, and then Nexus Games has made a statement saying that they hope to have Ucraft out by Christmas. And that's why I said um, over the next few months, next three months, we could have, or the game could look better. That's why, what I meant when I said that. Because Christmas is only three months away. Actually, a little smidge less than that, if you think about it. Um, if this game does come out around Christmas time, it'll probably be no later than I would say December 20th. But so between December 1st and December 20th, that's just a random guess I'm throwing out there. But whether it actually makes it out this year or not, I don't know. But at least now we know that this is not a scam or a hoax. This whole Ucraft thing, it's an actual real game being made by a, an indie studio to basically give Wii U owners a fair, sha or f fair shake, a fair chance at, uh, you know, like an open world crafting whatever game. Now, we don't know any details about the game, like how it's going to differ from Minecraft. It's not going to straight up be a copy and paste clone where literally it's like the exact same... Uh, What's the way to describe it? Blueprint, I guess, of Minecraft, where basically, you know, you start off with nothing. Oh, you get a, uh, a what do you call it, a trophy or an achievement for, oh, breaking down a piece of a tree. And then, you know, eventually you'd fight an ender dragon. It's not going to be like that. Um, who knows if there's even going to be, like, alternate dimensions, like, you know, the, the hell or nether and uh, all that stuff. Basically, it'll probably... The one main thing that it probably will have in, it's, er, in common with with Minecraft is that it's going to be added on to over time. So when you first get it, you'll probably really enjoy it uh, because it'll be something new that's not quite the same as Minecraft. Like, I don't even know if it'll be like, um, what do you call it? You know, like finding iron and gold and diamonds. I mean, that's a possibility, but there might be far more other stuff, other materials like uh, iron and, or not iron, what am I talking about? Steel and bronze and stuff like that. Who knows? Um, but... I just really hope that they actually put in a decent amount of content to, um, what do you call it, to make it stand out, you know, so it can hold its own against Minecraft. Because Minecraft, it's kind of gotten boring, let's be honest. I mean, everyone who's played it has done pretty much everything you can do in it. Um, so really, what else is there to talk about with this? I mean, I hope that there's a few things that I feel it needs to have for it to be a success on the Wii U. First of all, it can't be just a straight up copy and clone, or a copy and paste clone. You gotta have noticeable differences, and we, it looks like the blocks themselves are a noticeable difference right off the bat. Um, but we have to have multiplayer, whether it's local and online or just online. Definitely need multiplayer. One thing we I, that we all want, but probably won't get, is uh, in-game voice chat. Would love to have that happen, even though, uh, like, you could just use the the mic on the gamepad. 
it's like it makes you wonder why is did Nintendo put a mic into the fucking gamepad if they're never gonna use it on any of their games, excluding uh, the Wii U Chat, which is not a game but just a fucking video chat. Um, what else? Um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, make use of the gamepad. Like, let uh, if we're gonna be crafting in this you craft. Well, I guess we will be crafting. That's a fair judgment <laughs> because it's called you craft. So let us craft things on the gamepad. You know, use our finger or our stylus and click and drag and drop and everything on the gamepad and everything. Uh, I guess I'll have to use my finger because I still lost my stylus and I don't have a fucking clue where it is. Uh, <laughs> but I think those are the main things. Also, let let us have well not let us but put in. A fair amount of creatures. I don't remember how many creatures were in Minecraft when it first started off as a beta, where I don't know if there was actually creepers, spiders, skeletons, zombies, uh, and all that stuff, and slimes and everything, or if it was just like, just a zombie and a skeleton at the time or something, but have at least, I don't know, ten different creatures. Hopefully they're not all the same, where it's like, oh, you know, you got a spider, a zombie, a skeleton, and whatnot. I doubt there will be a creeper. Um, or anything like it, to be honest. Um, which would mean, I guess, unless they made their own exploding creature on purpose, we don't have to worry about griefers or anything blowing our shit up. Uh, <laughs> but I, the only th creature that I'd be fine with with them copying would be the zombie, because it's just kind of a, a generic default enemy, really. Um, and another thing I hope with this game is, I hope that they don't make it so the player that you're playing as, is, or the character, is going to be just like a default only character. For example, in Minecraft you start off as Steve, but whether it's PC version or even the Xbox version. I don't know if the PS4 version yet uh, you can do it, but you can change your skin and you can look different. I hope they can do that again on this game, but or I hope they let us on this game, but uh, they might, you know, charge five dollars or so on the eShop for like a pack or whatever. And maybe that's where those other studios would come in. They would just be like, um, Imagine, I don't know, it would never happen, but imagine Retro Studios saying, here's a Metroid pack where you can look like Samus from Metroid Prime 3 or whatever, uh, or Donkey Kong from the Tropical Freeze game or whatever. But I think that's about it, really. Those are the main points. I feel like there might have been one other point I wanted to say, but I can't remember. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I was just gonna say, I am a bit excited for it. It's not like I, I'm not I'm not as excited for this as I am for like Captain Toad or Smash Bros. But as long as it doesn't turn out to just be a complete fucking failure, I think this is gonna be a good substitute for the Wii U. A good, um, the closest we're gonna get to Minecraft, <laughs> which is fine. But at least at least it'll be something new from Minecraft. It'll be similar but new. And I think that's a good thing, because if it's something like Minecraft, but we haven't actually played it before, then it'll actually entice people to try it and to play it, and you'll get more enjoyment out of it. Because if it was regular Minecraft, then if you've played it on somewhere else before, you'd be like, alright, start a world, walk around, blah blah blah. Um, I do wonder, though, how big the world size will be. Would it be similar to like an Xbox 360 or Xbox One size, or... Uh, I don't think they could make it an infinite-sized world, but as long as it's, you know, pretty huge, and I hope it's not just, inf well, not infinite, but an open world of nothingness. Like, I actually hope that there's things to do. Like, you could, on your map, you, or if there's even going to be a map, you could find uh, buildings and uh, villages or cities or towns or whatever you want to call it and whatnot. And add in some extra mobs, like or the the friendly AI, you know. Add in some other people or something. Who knows? The possibilities with a crafting game, a fun crafting game on the Wii U, is literally infinite. So, I think I've talked long enough. Um, but it's nice to know that this is not a hoax or a scam or anything. Um, as long as this, like, it'll probably be an eShop only game. I'm pretty damn sure. But as long as it's Twenty dollars or less. Like I'm, I don't want to pay more than twenty dollars for it. In except in the case of if they actually really go balls to the wall and they literally just obliterate Minecraft and make something that's just superb. 
Otherwise, $20 is the absolute most that I would be comfortable paying for it. Um, especially since I've already bought Minecraft twice. Uh, PC version first and then on the 360. But either way, I'm excited. I'm not over the moon excited, but it's definitely something to keep our eyes on. Um, so yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. I'm original Blood Ace. I talked about this longer than I thought I would. But that's always okay, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. More videos coming soon, as always. Um, I do plan to do one more video at some point. It's just going to be an OBA news video where I talk about two or three other news stories in gaming or whatever. But anyway, stay tuned. I don't know when that video will be up tomorrow. Maybe we'll see. Uh, see you next time, as always.